don't be fooled by the name. There aren't any wolves at this preserve. Rather, wind wolves is in reference to tall grasses blowing in the wind. And at the private preserve, you will find those grasses, wildlife, and much more. In the shadow of Highway 166, beyond the orchards and oil fields, is one of Kern County's hidden treasures. It's impossible to beat springtime with the flowers that we have right now. It's a spectacular year. We haven't had wildflowers like this since 2003. For the last 11 years, the Wildlands Conservancy, which has private reserves across the state, has been culling and perfecting the Wind Wolves Preserve, which covers 97,000 acres, making it the largest privately owned nature preserve on the West Coast. The Conservancy's dual mission, fund free education programs to teach children about nature and to preserve the beauty and biodiversity of the earth. Not only do we need them, I think, for a sense of poetry and a sense of, of completion in our own lives, but the earth itself needs to regenerate itself. It needs large places, you know, where animals can uh, travel. Uh, the wildlife corridors need to be preserved. And wildlife has certainly found a home here, from red-tailed hawks flying overhead to an owl taking shelter in its nest, perhaps with offspring. There's a chick in front of her. Yeah, it's... To a couple of coyotes who took off in the afternoon sun after spotting us. She looks pregnant, that one that's running now. Aside from being able to picnic, most visitors at the preserve come to hike or mountain bike along the many trails along Santa Migdio Canyon, which was once the old road, the first path from L.A. to San Francisco. And the history of this land doesn't end there. In 1872, this waterworks dates to that. And now there's a new history growing here, from the education to the Conservancy's efforts to return native plants to the soil. Valley oaks were here, and so... All these are grown from acorns gathered on the preserve. The preserve has also brought back a native animal, as they now have more than 200 tule elk. There's one up. We found this group of 19 bulls relaxing in the midday sun before we spooked them off. Minutes later, we found a recently shed antler. It's good size, but that's not anywhere near a really big one either. We then found our way back into the wildflowers. This is the best year for fiddle nights we've had. They're just, they're all over the hills. The brilliant colors, blue, purple, yellow, white of these wildflower fields are probably the biggest attraction in the spring here at the Wind Wolves Preserve. And you can certainly walk away with a lot of amazing pictures of these flowers, but it's not the only thing folks here running the preserve want you to walk away with. I think everyone kind of, they bring something and determined by what they bring, uh, they will take something away, but there's something, you know, beautiful, something for, for everyone. And the more they come out, uh, I think the more inspiring and the more you realize how much we need this. Wind Wolves is open from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. on the weekends. It's free to the public. Camping is allowed, but only by reservation, and there is no hunting allowed. For more on the Wind Wolves Preserve, log on to our website at turntotwenty23.com. And if you know of somewhere or something in Kern County you think we should explore, send me an email at chris at turntotwenty23.com. Live in studio, Chris Van Horn, ABC 23.